This is my very first video and as you can probably hear in the future English is not my primary language. I'm German but I would like to practice my English a little bit more and also yeah I can reach a broad audience and you can understand me. So please bear with me if there are some pronunciation mistakes or grammar or any stuff regarding language. So I'm here on Rustified Development Server and the main purpose of this video is to show you all the new stuff that will be coming on Monday because Monday is the new patch day. They changed this up so they can have the whole week to fix bugs and you can have a weekend with hopefully a little bit less buggier game than if the whole patch comes on Friday and they don't have time to fix it. So Monday is the new patch day. Gladly we spawned, uh, actually I have a sleeping back there, but let's see if we can get some loot out of here right now. Oh no, <laughs> nothing here. Oh, there's a box. Come here. Okay, we'll just take everything. Don't spend much time here because the radiation will likely kill me if I don't hurry up. So let's head back outside first and go to the desert. You know, the desert is right here and in the desert we will look for some barrels because this is a new jar and I will talk with about some features on the golden way so you don't get too much bored. So the very first thing you would likely notice is this green bar right next to my tools here in my hotkeys and this is durability. Durability is back, yay! Actually not yay because it's very unbalanced at the moment. It's brutal. Brutal in the way of... You know that the stone hatchet costs about 200 wood and 100 stone to make and you can hardly harvest that much stuff with one stone hatchet to make another one. So we will have to change up the tactics a little bit. My first objective is to look for some barrels, see if we can get a bow and, an, and some arrows and hunt us some delicious meat. Because as you can see right now there's this red blurry stuff on my screen that's very annoying and it's the new um, health indicator. <laughs> as you can see I barely survived, I have one health left and the screen is really blurry, it's quite distracting and you can hardly see anything on the edges. Also it's quite desaturated and we really have to get this health back up. So let's hope that we can somehow see some barrels in the distance. Um, I think there's one there. There's a little trick but it could be kinda hard with the blur on the edges. If you move your target to the edge, it gets a little bit, a little bit bigger, and you can can see it better. But yeah, in this case, it's, it doesn't help. But I think that's a barrel. Also, this location here with the forest and the desert and the loot town, right? Oh, there's a barrel too. Uh, right over this hill is excellent for a base. So we will play through the first 30 minutes of a normal game, get some stuff, some loot try not to die and build us a small little base and I will talk about some features. So the next thing is... Whoa, yeah, that's a nice bug. Yeah, I was glad that I captured it, but I have no idea how I can reproduce it. So, yeah, I kinda... What did I do? Okay, I think I have to do something. I will try moving it out of the inventory and back in again. Maybe that works. Come on, let me... Oh, that's annoying. I mean, it, it looks amazing, but still very annoying. <laughs> I want to... Ah, oh, come on! <laughs> I had this bug once before and I wasn't able to reproduce it. And now I'm not able to get it back. Come on! I mean, it's... it's <laughs> It's funny. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, other people can see too. <laughs> so I will move it to the third slot, maybe that works. Come on. Yeah, there we go. 
So yeah, if you encounter that bug, just move your tool over to another slot. <gasps> We're gonna hatch it, that's nice. So I won't need this anymore, I don't want that item name, yeah, that's nothing. And, oh, we can take this immediately. Yeah, good stuff. Brings up the health a little bit. But we will still need to get some meat. So, yeah, there was this barrel behind, sorry, I forgot. Another thing that they will introduce, not with the Monday ap update, but likely with the next update after that, is roads. Yeah, you heard correctly. They're introducing roads. I kind of saw some screenshots and it's this red um, dirt road. And I also read somewhere that they want to make it a little bit more intelligent that the road only spawns where there are a lot of people moving. So, yeah, let's see what that's what that will be like. So, yeah, the durability. Um, I think they will balance it a little bit more. It's, it's absolutely brutal at the moment. Also, if you want to raid, um, the health regeneration is gone. So you can even raid with... Okay, my first slot is bugged. So you can even raid with a stone, but the stone won't survive. And be careful, if you lose your stone, you don't have anything. You can't hit anything. If you don't have the materials to make anything else, another tool, um, yeah, you have to kill yourself. And I don't mean that in any weird way. I mean it in press the console and type in kill as I did before. And you will respawn, have a new stone and that's it. So always keep your eye on your equipment. The next thing, uh, C4 is back. I kinda, it's kind of C4 there. They're, they're not calling it C4 anymore. They're calling it, I think it's a timed explosive. What are they calling it? Um, tools. Timed explosive charge. And you need a blueprint for that, or you can find it directly. You also need some explosive powder. So you have to find two blueprints to make it en masse. And <laughs> it's quite funny at the moment because the sound is not restricted to its zone. It's uh, everyone on the map can hear if someone is um, blowing up something and that's quite loud. So as I remember the explosive makes 1000 damage and the new stats are that uh, a, wooden uh, a wooden base has 2500 um, health and the stone one has 5000. And there's also a new base, it's a, it's a tier before the wooden lock and it's yeah, it's, it's also wood, but has so little less health. Um, I think it's about 300, so it's it's down quite quite fast, even with your stone. So I would assume they made that, that you can really cheaply set up a fast layout of your base and then go there and upgrade all the stuff so you have a nice base. Also with the durability, the whole stone thing becomes quite rare, so if you see, after a wipe, if you see a base with a lot of stone walls, you can assume that this is quite an active player, and it's not that easy to get stone. Most people will likely have a wooden base, and maybe only their tool cupboard in a, in a stone room to save, and to have, to have it a little bit safer. Because, yeah, as I said, the tools quite break quite fast. I will show it to you now. So, wood is kind of okay to harvest, even with a stone hatchet. But don't even think about getting a lot of stone out of this. So, this is kind of a new stone hatchet, so it's not very damaged. I will just begin hacking away on this. As you can see, I don't get a lot. I get about one stone with each hit one or two sometimes and it's already going down very fast so I've lost already lost nearly a third now and I'm at 30 ro uh, rocks 13 metal ore and 31 sulfur ore so that's that's not working so I will keep hitting those barrels and maybe I'm lucky and get some stuff I don't need much 
I only need a little bit. Second tool would be nice because we need a lot of stone for our furnace and we don't have any yet. So I will drop that. I will hang on to that and always keep the bandages. They're great. Uh, yeah, that's the next thing. Um, while running, you can still open your inventory. And previously, if you close it, you would stop. But now you don't, so you can even use stuff while you're running and you don't even stop. That's great. And yeah, <laughs> before I forgot, the for me, the single most amazing new feature is looking back. You press the Alt key and you look back. You can't... Um, there is no way to, to limit this view, like in DayZ or DayZ, where you can move around while looking back. It's just a... Well, I, th I would think about 100 deg degrees back. It's like an over-the-shoulder look. So this barrel is here. If you move about 180 and look back, yeah, it's 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 a quite good look. But you get the idea. If you're running away from someone, you can look back and see if he's still there. Um, the only thing that's a little bit annoying is that the mouse is inverted if you're looking back. So if you move down, you move up, and if you move up, you move down. It's just a inverted normal functions of your mouse. So let's see what we got from here. Um, no, don't need that. We'll eat that. Go up a little bit more. Also, um, if you first start up, your health is at 50 normally. You don't get this blurry screen right now. You will only see it uh, after you've first taken damage. So if you drop to 49, you will get a, a quite a blurry screen. So that's that's a little bit helping. And also it's it's not vanishing over time and you have to get your health back up. Oh yeah, <laughs> in the chat prepare your ears. I think someone will use a explosive right now. <gasps> hunting bow. Oh, that's a jackpot. Nice. Got a hunting bow, got some arrows, another hatchet. That's great. You can look for uh, animals right now, get us some cloth, make a sleeping bag. Oh, that's great. But let's hit up those barrels if they're so near. Don't want to leave them there. There's, there's still a lot of blueprints I have to find. <gasps> What's that? Ah, oh, it's just a large box. Probably empty. Yeah, it's empty. That's the next thing they fixed. Um, the, all the boxes are now having the, the right amount of slots here. So the large wooden box even has more slots than your inventory. And if you loot another player, there is um, his inventory, and then is his, um, his equipment bar, and then is his hotkey bar. So it's it's way, way better than before. <gasps> there's something we can hunt. So a little, a little, there's a little bug at the moment where the bow is not centered correctly. So if you line the shot up, you have to see that your target is right next to the arrow. Ah, it was even further... Ah, come on, I'm bad with the bow. It's really hard to see. Don't run away. Ah, I can't hit it. That's so annoying. But let's pick up, pick up those arrows, we need them. We will hunt it down. They will slow down eventually, they only are very fast at the beginning, they have this kind of simulated adrenaline shot where they run away, but after a time they slow down and they don't have this adrenaline shot for some time so you can hunt them. Let's see where did it go. Um, I sometimes use my bow and aim with it to get some kind of a little bit of a zoom. Zoom is always great. Mm. I can see it. Damn, I lost it. I'm a bad hunter. <laughs> oh man. Okay, there's a barrel. We will go to the forest. There are likely to be another animal. And we will hunt that. So, do we... Hmm. What? Where are these buggy? I've seen them before. They work great. This looks like a snow jacket. 
probably will take that over the red one because yeah it's a little bit more stealth a little bit <laughs> so oh I saw something yeah there it is there is our prey also it, it, I'm not sure about it yet but uh, someone said it to me make sure that you I already hit it why didn't it die oh, come on master shot oh, damn. okay hunting it again um, if you're harvesting a dead animal, make sure that you use some kind of good tool. If you use your hatchet or a savage hammer, you supposedly get less than if you work it with a hatchet. So I will keep that in mind. Because the savage hammer is quite cheap to produce, it only uses up 100 wood. And I already have the receipt on the server. So I, I got me a little bit of a head start so that you <laughs> don't have to see me bashing barrels for hours. So that, that should help a little bit. Okay, I'm a little bit sidetracked at the moment. Okay, let, let's get these s these barrels here I can see in the very vicinity. There is one and I think there was another one on the left. Ah, yeah, there it is. And then we head to the forest, get us some meat, some cloth, make us a sleeping bag, base, and then let's go from there. Probably harvesting some stuff and getting a, a nice furnace so we can make metal fragments. From there we can make a hatchet and other goody stuff. So that's great. Oh, some more to eat. That's good. I already have one in reserve so we'll drop that. I will eat that. I already know that so I will drop that. Yeah, this is already new, as you saw. Uh, let me pick it up back again. Whoa! Oh, come on, don't kill me. So I will introduce you to the looking back right now. So he is here. And... Oh, he shot me, this mother... F <laughs> you didn't hear me. So I will use my bandage. Ah, oh, come on, I don't want to die. Oh, he's still trying to hit me. Okay, I'm, I'm away now. But I lost health. Oh god, I'm so bad. I also minimized the game for a short time, so if he would be very aggressive, he would have me there. But gladly he is hanging back. Yeah, I think I lost him. Okay, I will, I will go a little bit of a distance just to be safe. Don't want to die yet, so I have really nice basic equipment. I have some arrows, two tools. That's nice. Oh, please, no wolf, please. Please be aware of the wolves, they are quite aggressive and especially at the start they can kill you very fast and then yeah, <laughs> it's all over. You have to start all over again. So yeah, we need an animal, we need meat. Let me start by already collecting some wood for a campfire so I can make it on the way that I don't lose time there. That should be enough. Go there's the campfire. Okay, this will take about 60 seconds. So this will be ready when we have meat. It's really hard to see with these edges. Okay, I'm kind of going into more forest. I'm not sure I want that. I wanted to stay in, stay in the desert where there are barrels and I'm a little bit of more isolated because the further you head into the woods there are more players. It's more dangerous. And with all this durability, your stuff is even more precious than before. Also for other players, so I don't want to fight right now. Because I have no base and I would fall back to zero. That's not nice. Okay. You probably have noticed another new thing. There are ambient sounds now. I've heard an Owl and a witch. It's kind of it's very creepy laughing. It's it's really nice. It really helps the immersion. And oh, there's it. Come on, please be already a little bit damaged. Can't hunt anymore. Please, please. Ah, oh, don't. Oh, I've moved there too fast. No. What the? This ah, oh, this is really not helping. Ooh, it's dead. Hopefully I can harvest it. I can swim. 
Where is it? Oh, it's gone. Bucked away. Oh, no, no, not you again. I will uh, say it in the chat, in the voice chat now, so don't. Yeah. Go away! Go away, please! I don't want to die! Maybe that helps. Let's see. <laughs> nah. Oh, he's hunting the fucking animal. Oh, come on. Ah, it shouldn't be. What is this? This looks weird. Yeah, they, they have this new shader. It's, they're kind of metallic looking now, so you, so you should see them better. So, okay, now it's getting dark. Great. Great. It's getting dark. There's a player behind me. I'm damaged. I don't have anything left. Oh, <laughs> don't even have bandages. If I get hit one more time, I'm dead. One lousy arrow hit and I'm down. I will head back to the desert. Here are too many cavities. Oh, it really gets hard to see right now. So, um... To help me a little bit at night... Oh yeah, that was the witch. <laughs> to help me a little bit at night, I tweak my gamma a little bit. It's not okay and I don't recommend it. But in this case, if I would light my torch, everyone would see me. And I want to die. And it seems that nobody's using torches anymore, so and I can see well at night, so I would assume that a lot of people are using this Gamma, it's not really a hack, it's just a color correction. And oh no, oh no, 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 please, please. No, 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 okay, good. He would have killed me for sure. No, no, oh no, that's it. <laughs> no. Oh. Yeah, he's eating my bread now. Mmm, yum, 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 yum. I'm very good. Okay, let's do this one more time. Let's see if we can speed this up a little bit. Head to the desert. Find an arrow. Find a bow. Hunt an animal. And don't die. I won't, don't want to die, please. So this is my last try. I will kind of I will cut this video at about 30 minutes. Let's see where we are there and make a second part. We will build the base. We now took 20 minutes for this try and yeah, I did some mistakes. I wasn't concentrated and didn't see the player. He hit me and we should st we should stay in the desert a little bit longer and let a lot of animals escape, so I will try to avoid these things, so I don't suck. Okay. Bow, arrow, animal. Sounds good. Okay, what to talk about right now? Yeah, let's talk about the explosives. So the explosives themselves are not that expensive to produce. I think they cost... Uh, not much. Ten fragments, I think, and some gunpowder. So it's not really much. So if you have the blueprints lined up, you are really powerful. So I, I would think they... I, I would think that they let it be for the moment like that, so that people can try it out. But I would assume that they balance this in the future and make it a little bit more expensive. There's a barrel. Oh no, there's a player. No, this... what is that? It's a floor! No, that's my axe! <laughs> from before. Oh, good to see you, buddy. Okay, that's still buggy. That's mine now. So, Okay, I will move it over to the third slot. There we go. That's a small water bottle. Okay, I will drink that. I will get some food, some water, a little bit of health. Oh, our hands are still there. That's nice. Good to see you, buddies. Let's see what I've dropped there. Oh, no. 
No, 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 that's just hands, okay. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> they seem a little bit 2D, and I don't know if they're full 3D models, but they are... Yeah, they are. They're even moving. They have idle animations. Nice. Okay, <laughs> I, I, I have quite a fast trick. I would assume that other people would get a little bit of an FPS drop if this happens a lot over the server. So, there will likely be a fix soon. I think it's a quite new error. I have an uh, error. I haven't encountered it before the last bigger patch, which was the C4 or the durability, don't know. But yeah, they will fix that. I will um, normally, if I record the video, you would see a pitch black night and only I see the gamma, but. I'm an honest person, so I will tell you that I use a little bit of a gamma trick and I will enhance the video afterwards so you can also see what I'm doing here at night because I don't want to wait the whole night for yeah for the video to resume. So okay. It's still hard to see and barrels are still very good hidden here. I have to really concentrate to make out some pixels, something at the Horizon, that, that helps sometimes. No, nothing there. Let's look back a little bit. Okay, there's a house. Oh, another thing they did, what, uh, which was very great. They fixed this um, destroyed bug. So, if your inventory is full and you would pick something up, it would be destroyed. In the last patch, and I fixed that now. So if you if your inventory is full, and you try to pick something up, uh, it will just drop on the ground. And this also works with containers. So if you have a campfire, and normally you would have uh, three meat and a stack of wood there, and the charcoal would just vanish. And now it gets dropped every time, and you get a small baggie with a charcoal. So that that's nice. You don't accidentally destroy stuff anymore. That's very good. Also, the, the player looting is now uh, working properly again, so you don't have to destroy the, the corpse to get to the loot baggies. You can now loot it as before. So there is a animal and there was this pig. So let's see what is in there. I really need a bow because that's the next thing they did. You can't hit anymore while you're running. So if I would I'm pressing the mouse now and nothing is happening, but as soon as I stop, I'm hitting. So that's a little bit hard um, to, ca to catch animals with that. So we really need some kind of... at least a spear, something like that. So let's see if we can find anything like that. P please don't die again. Please. I'm praying to the rust gods, to the to the big Gary in the moon. Please, oh holy Gary, please don't let me die. No, I'm just joking. Gary is the main developer of Rust. He also did Gary's mod, in case you didn't know. And he's really engaged and he's really into the project. And the whole dev team is, they're really doing a lot of updates and fix bugs really fast. So, kudos to them for doing such a great job. I could talk a little bit about me. I mean, you don't care probably, but I don't know what to tell you more about the update on Monday. Nothing a lot is happening in the game right now, so... Yeah, I'm hitting 30 in the next couple of weeks. So um, I'm a little bit older than your typical YouTuber. But this means I'm wiser. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, I'm playing games for uh, since I'm 12 or 11, so I've played a lot. I've also played Rust a lot, um, about 400 hours or something like that. It's not that much like other people with 2,000 or more hours locked in, but for me it's a lot. Because I'm working and I can't play all the time, so... Yeah, I've played Legacy a lot, and one time the dev team says, don't play Legacy anymore, we're doing something new, we are revamping everything, go away and come back in a year. So I went away, 
came back a year after I did our chest. And yeah, I started back up with Rust um, about three weeks ago. And no longer, about a month ago. And I've seen so much progress in this short time, it's amazing. The, the map is amazing, the, the, the whole feeling is great, the ambient sounds now are really good. They help the immersion so much. The graphics is so much better. And yeah, they are not far away from the feature list of Legacy. And with the whole procedural map generation, it's it's really a f fun experience. And yeah, and in case you didn't know, all maps kind of have the same layout. Uh, I know they're, they're procedurally generated, so they have a seed number, and they're all a little bit, of, little bit different. But of course, they're all following some rules. So every map has in the north this whole winter biome, and in the middle the big grassland, and on the bottom um, this desert where I'm right now. So this should help a little bit to get around. Oh, there's a player. Just run away. Just run away. Look back. Don't look back. No, I want to look back. Okay, didn't. I'm not interested. Good. I only have a rock. And some trousers. Drop. Oh, I have an arrow. That's good. So I need a bow. Still need a bow. <gasps> Come on. Oh no, I have nothing to hit it with. Damn stone. Okay. Now oh, there's an airplane. So yeah, now you see a little bit of the trick I um, I spoke about earlier. So if you move the object you want to target to the very edge of the screen, it gets a little bit zoomed in. You can see it a little bit better. And it, this really helps with um, localizing airdrops where there are. And if it already has dropped, so keep that in mind maybe. I'm playing with um, the very lowest level of field of view. Um, normally I would crank it up to the maximum, but in this case I like it because I can see a little bit farther in the center and can concentrate more on what is on screen and don't get distracted much what is on the side, so... Yeah, it's just a preference. Play with it. Play with... Uh, play, no, don't play with yourself. Uh, Play with the settings. So there's this. Play with these settings. They should help really. If you want to make some cinematic videos, you can hide uh, the whole UI and don't lose anything of your action. So that that's great. Okay, I lost myself. <laughs> I should concentrate a lot more. Because English isn't my first language, I have to concentrate on speaking a little bit more than I would in my native tongue. So I'm not 100% in-game. But yeah, it's okay. We're in grassland now. Grassland is great. No, oh, there's a barrel. Come on, barrel. So it's we're at 33 minutes now with the video, and I think I will cut it here right now. So we're still at the edge of the desert. We can see some barrels there in the distance. And I will continue with my hunt for a bow. Or I will try to make one myself. Let's see. No, okay. Where's the bow there? I don't have cloth and I can't get cloth with the bow. So that's the catch-22 there. Okay, I will, I will skip it there. So please... Um, head to the comments and let me know what you think. Keep in mind this was my very first video and I hope it did kinda good, kinda okay. And if you have anything you would like me to change or if you have any questions just leave a comment I will answer as soon as possible. So have a good night guys. See ya.